Okay, welcome back to Winnipeg Car Life, everybody. This is gonna be a kind of a different video. Uh, just try new things, see what you guys like. Uh, we are in a C6 Corvette manual gearbox, as you will hear in a moment. There we go. And this one belongs to Brett. Say hi, Brett. Hello. Brett has graciously agreed to uh, let me sample his car. And uh, so I figured we'd actually talk with him instead of my usual format of just getting in the car and running away from the owners. So I guess my first question, Brett, is what made you decide on a C6 Corvette? Well, when I was shopping for cars, I was looking around the thirty dollars to $40,000 range. I came across a few different cars. Um, there was a white 2019 5 liter manual uh, full package premium with track package. And then there was also um, there was also this car and a 2000 and then not a 2000 a 1995 Dodge Viper I'm pretty sure it was and uh, it just so happened that this one was right near me I went and looked at it and I drove it and I instantly knew these cars are not Mustangs <laughs> no you know you don't often see videos of Corvettes crashing into crowds. No, I, I grew up driving a 5 liter and they sound great. I still love driving ours, but there's nothing that beats this layout of the transmission in the back within the front. And in the manual gearbox, I also looked at the uh, trajectory for what these cars will do. Manual gearbox, that's your aspiration V8, will become more and more desirable in the future. Absolutely, absolutely. So it was quite the interesting uh, selection of cars you were looking at. Um, great price range, and as far as I'm concerned, I think you made the right choice. Uh, and obviously that guy we ran into last Sunday agreed with you as well. Oh, my number one fan. I'll give it to him. He's my number one fan for sure. Yeah, despite him thinking this was a Z06. Yeah, well, me too. I wish. <laughs> So what have you done to the car in terms of modifications? Uh, I have a quarter throttle body, um, a little bit of a different air intake, not a K&N, um, full three inch uh, from the headers back, and uh, I got a Valvetronic uh, system installed this year. I bought a uh, OEM Plus glass roof. A uh, bunch of cosmetic mods with carbon fiber and just wheels and tires to grip. Cool. And did, do you ever take this car up to Gimli for track use? Or? I've had it up there twice now. It is uh, a lot of fun. I've got the best track. Some of the guys that I know out there, they, I instantly fell back in love with this car knowing how fast <laughs> it is around the track. Yeah, it's amazing what you can learn about your car in the hands of somebody who knows what they're doing. Oh, yeah. It's. Uh, you, you think you know the limits and then you realize you're nowhere near them. No, no, it, it's insane to see when he drove this car and I was, I think it was less than a second back from a GT4. Oh, wow. So, mind you, it wasn't the same driver for the GT4, but I'm pretty happy with this being that close. Very cool. <laughs> That does sound good, doesn't it? Nothing like a small block V8 for sound, except maybe a V10, Lamborghini V12. But let's face it, for the price point, you're not getting better than that. And it really does look good. The way he's got the, the acrylic roof on it, the, uh, the carbon fiber roll hoop, it breaks it up nicely, it looks fantastic. Otherwise, 
60,000 kilometers yep. and otherwise problem free basically? Problem free basically. Awesome. That's fantastic. It, from a passenger's perspective, I will tell you, if you've been watching any of my previous videos, you know I'm six foot two, 188 centimeters if you happen to be in Europe. And I've got plenty of room in here. Like. I, I could actually get a helmet on in here, which I can't do in my car, and the seat is a little more upright than I would normally have it. So, legroom is is plentiful, and like you said, I mean, you can get golf clubs in the back. I don't play golf, I'm more of a whack fuck guy. But, uh, yeah, I, this is actually my first time in a C6 Corvette, and I'm kind of annoyed that I haven't been in one before. He's just having fun now. Perfect. So on the highway, what's this thing like for, for driving since we're on the highway right now? Um, we are right now about uh, average around seven liters per hundred kilometers and seven to eight. Wow. So uh, it's the best vehicle out of all of all of them that we have. Uh, my truck does about thirteen point five. Broncos like fourteen fifty. Jeez. That is just a, it's a brick on 35s. <laughs> I'm lucky to get 13 in my car. Actually, that's not true. I think I've had it down to about 11, but that was really babying it. Well, when on Gold Rush, you can't really afford to uh, stay behind and get fuel economy. <laughs> no, one, one does not go on a rally for fuel economy. One does also not buy a Corvette or a 911 for fuel economy. No. <laughs> Absolutely, you said it. All right, well, this has been a really fun experience. Brett, thank you so much for uh, for participating in this. Absolutely, no problem. It was uh, it, it was a lot of fun, and uh, of course, we, we see each other pretty regularly on Sunday nights. And I really appreciate you coming all the way from, from your town in, into Winnipeg for this. Yeah, no problem. And yeah, you've got a really, really nice car. Thank you. And it just... It, it's, to be honest, it's way better than I expected it would be. To sound so. like every 50 year old midlife crisis guy, <laughs> best car for the money. <laughs> All I need is a good pair of New Balances and uh, go hit some balls. And some plaid shorts. <laughs> oh, I'd love some plaid shorts. <laughs> All right, man, thank you very much. No problem. Well, that's that. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. Follow me on Instagram. Brett's Instagram will be posted below as well. Catch you next video.